With the passage of time, the handling of corporate responsibility by companies has changed significantly. For one thing, 30 or 40 years ago, the environment of business was much more stable. Today, it's much more dynamic. Uh, with 30 or 40 years of experience under their belt, corporations today have developed much more mature, experienced, sophisticated ways of dealing with corporate responsibility issues. The public has expected more and business is giving more. The profession has uh, developed to the point where we now have corporate responsibility officers in companies, whereas we didn't 30 or 40 years ago. Then things were dealt with on a more ad hoc, reactive kind of basis. Today it's more like professional management and uh, dealing with stakeholders in a, a way that uh, the public is more comfortable. If you look at the post-World War II period, particularly moving from the 50s into the 60s, there were tremendous pressures for social change developing. In fact, a social consciousness was developing in the 60s, driven primarily by movements like the Civil Rights Movement, the Women's Movement, the Consumers Movement, and the Environmental Movement. And these movements and reflections of public opinion have captured the essence of how the public feels about these issues. And consequently, uh, these have been the primary drivers. Uh, the public expectation has been the primary driver. And as you know, the revolution of rising expectations that began perhaps in the 1960s when each succeeding generation was expected to have more and do better than the previous generation. By the same token, more was expected out of companies as well, and they've had to give more as a consequence. So these are kind of the outset, the external drivers, but internally, I think from the point of view of professionalism, companies have wanted to do a much more sophisticated, polished job at responding to stakeholders' requests. So that's been uh, part of the acceptance as well. Certainly some people will always perceive an element of public relations in efforts on the part of companies to respond to the public. However, whereas it may have been that in the beginning, I think today it has become more a part of standard business practice. If you look at what the major corporations today are doing, more of them would regard their corporate responsibility efforts as best practices or sound business principles. So uh, no longer do we think of responding to social responsibility issues as something distinct and apart from what companies do. They have integrated it into their, their missions, their ways of operating, their decisions. And so it is basically the sound business practice to engage in corporate responsibility today. Well, there certainly are many takeaways. However, I think the number one takeaway would be the sense of importance of history and the adaptability of the American corporation. I think corporations today have learned, just as they have adapted to changing economic times, they've adapted to changing political times, technological times. They have also adapted to social change as the public's expectations have altered over the years, over the decades, if you will, the modern corporation has adapted. They have seen what it is they have had to do, and they have done it. And I think this adaptability in order to maintain the legitimacy with the American public is the major takeaway I received from our work with this book.